finally, I'm going to be collecting a urine sample from you, the doctor ordered. I'm going to be handing you a sterile cup and two toilets, and you will label this container with your information. Um, first, we're going to start off by you washing your hands, and then we're going to remove the lint from the container, place it on the counter facing up so it doesn't get contaminated, um, and then we're all start, I'll start with the directions of how to collect the urine. So um, first, you're going to separate your labia using your non-dominant hand. Okay. Um, with your other hand, you will use one towelette to wipe the area front to back. You're going to discard that towelette, and then you're going to repeat the process with the second towelette. Um, keeping the labia separated, you're going to begin to urinate into the toilet and then stop midstream. You're going to okay. place the cup into the path of the urine stream and start urinating again. Don't let the cup um, touch your body or the toilet. Okay. Once you're finished, you can carefully place the lid on your sample and you can set it down on the counter. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. Thank you. Let's review the steps to process a urine specimen. First, we're going to mix the sample well and officially inspect the urine making note of the color and clarity. To avoid contaminating the urine specimen, we'll collect the urine culture first using a sterile collection device. Once the culture has been collected, we'll label the urine culture tube with two patient identifiers. Before dipping the strip into the urine, we'll visually inspect it to ensure that no color distortion has occurred. Next, we'll remove the lid from the urine specimen cup. Once you press start on the Clinitec, you have eight seconds to dip the strip into the cup and place it on the table. Be sure to completely immerse reagent areas of the strip in the urine. Drag the strip on the edge of the container and blot the strip on paper towel to remove excess urine before placing it into the machine. We'll await the results. If doing a manual urinalysis, we'll follow all the same steps as before. But this time, after dipping the urine, we'll hold the strip in a horizontal position to prevent possible mixing of chemicals. You'll read the test results carefully at the time specified on the bottle, in good light, and with the test area held near the appropriate color chart on the bottle label. Do not read the strips in direct sunlight.